Hi there, welcome to the channel Forest Arts with me, Steve. Okay, folks, um, if you're new to the channel, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. If you're a regular, way, you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you for coming back today. What we're going to do today is I have this lovely uh, three foot by 11.5 um, canvas. There's a couple of inches either side. I just cannot get that into the frame without taking my camera another eight or 10 inches high in the air. And I don't really want to be doing that. So you can see pretty well most of it. So I've got all the paints mixed up today, folks. I've got some beautiful neon green. Look at that, that is such a beautiful, vibrant pink. And I can't do many paintings without beautiful yellow. Such a warm and healing color. Look at that blue as well. And then I've got this. This is a new lilac that came today, actually. Came just in time. And obviously I've got my base colored. I've got some white and some black. There will possibly be some paint left over. I'm not sure. So what are we going to do today then, Steve? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do a dirty pour. Yes. If you're a regular to my channel, you know that these are predominantly my style of paintings. Uh, I do do sort of more traditional landscapes, but this is what I enjoy. And this is what sells on my channel and on my website. So, and I'm moving on. My, my, my paintings have evolved over the last five years, where now they are becoming much more spiritual art, cosmic space art, if you like, because this is what you tend to get with these style of paintings that I do. And I'm a big believer in the healing energies and the vibrations of art, and especially colour. Colour therapy is so important to raise someone's vibration, make them happy. That's what we're all here to do. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, now I must clean my table at some point, folks. Um, what are we going to do first? We've got... Okay, first of all, I'm just going to pour... Straight across, sort of like a sweeping line, if you like. Right across. That's quite a thickish paint, that one as well, even though it's had a lot of mixing. I want a bit of that yellow just next to that, about an inch away. Put a bit of black just in between. Just a very thin layer of black. Okay, that's cool. So I think it's time for... Let's just make a bit of a circle now. Then if you can see that, I've got a little bit of crackle, crackle medium in here as well, in the paints. And it will give it a crackle finish, a crackle effect, if you like. Not too much, Steve, not too much, just a little bit. Don't mind about the drips. All right, let's have a bit of green now coming off the edge here. And it will just sweep across here. And go along there. We can just put a little bit. Just there. Okay. We need something now over the edge. Uh, I'm going to put, a, as most of a paint in a beaker is actually the blue. The blue is going to win today and come all over. This is going to be like the movement. 
that's going to create a lot of movement that one okay let's get a bit of white now now i'm just going to start mixing in these colors now Okay, we've possibly got enough there. Right, okay. It's going to get noisy for a little while. I'm going to put my blower on to create the movement required. So do bear with me.
Okay. Will you take a look at that? That looks fantastic. Just going to uh, touch up the edges now. So that is just awesome, truly awesome. Let me just touch the edges up and then I'll, this is just basically where mo most of the canvas has got covered, but you might just get a, a little bit that hasn't got covered. It's not a problem. There's plenty of paint that's flowing off the edge. Okay. Now, Do you not think that that is going to inspire the viewer on a morning when they walk downstairs to start a, a fresh day at work or even a day off and they might be feeling a little bit anxious, a little bit dull, not knowing how to start their day. What better than to take that in through your eyes and let it really sink into your soul. The beautiful colours, the mixtures. Can you see that part? No. You've got like the action of the um, the materials now forming. You've got like the... First of all, let me tell you what I've added to my paintings. You've got acrylic paint, a little bit of water, a few drops of alcohol, not whiskey or, or anything like that, pure alcohol. A little bit of silicon oil and I did put a bit of crackle finish, crackle medium, which you can't see too much of it at the moment, but all that now is going to blend together for the next day or two and it will start to solidify and about five days from now it will be ready for varnishing. So that is just an amazing, I mean look at that part there, so beautiful. It's all inspiring just to look at that. I'm thinking of a name, a name for that. It's still dripping off the edges now. So this has got to stay put now for a, a, a while. I've got a bit of paint left, so I'm going to crack open a 12 by 12 and just do something with it. Anyway, um, I'm thinking Rebirth of the Soul. That's a cool name. And it does look like the, the realm, the spiritual realm. Obviously it's subjective. You can get whatever you want from this. Anyway, my friends, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in today. And if you've enjoyed watching the video, uh, please like it. Share it with your family and friends and please give me a sub subscribe. I would love it. I'm building up the network slowly but surely. Hit the bell icon because I normally upload a painting video once a week. Round about the weekend time. So, yeah. And um, I just want to say enjoy the rest of your day or evening wherever you are on this planet. Is it a planet? Is it really a planet? Hmm, there's your, the question for the day. Is it really a planet that we live on? Are we living? How do we know that when we go to sleep and we dream, we wake up in the reality and when we wake up or we think is waking up, we're in a dream world. Hmm, pretty deep stuff there. Anyway, thanks for watching and catch you next time.